It's time for Barrage the Farage. I've no idea what you've sent in, so here goes. Mike asks, Liz Truss says she's going to ignore Nicola Sturgeon, but is that the right thing to do? Well, <clears throat> she kind of calls Nicola a show-off, says she's going to ignore her, and here's the fun thing about Liz Truss. If she wins, when she wins, looking at the, lo looking at the numbers, it will be a very, very high-risk environment. Peter Bone used the word risk about her just earlier. She is more prone to coming out with all sorts of statements even than Boris Johnson was as Prime Minister. She does seem to fire from the hip, but I think she's likely to get herself into real trouble very, very easily. Ryan asks me, if the Tories can't cut, crack down on illegal migration, who will? Well, <clears throat> truth is, folks, that uh, there's zero chance of Labour doing it. Now, they say... What they're going to do is target the criminal gangs. And I have paid, you know, absolutely full respect to the authorities for the gang they did nick. 39 of them. Uh, the big guy is up in court in London. The gang made 30 million out of trafficking. They got 10,000 people across the English Channel. And cracking down on that gang slowed the numbers that were coming across in July. But as you can see... The Albanians have now taken over. They've got boats. They're packing them in 50 at a time. They're allowed by TikTok and other social media channels to advertise, it seems, willy-nilly. So the truth of it is, no one is going to crack down. And actually, rather like membership of the European Union was for most of my career, pretty much the entirety of the UK political and media class think it's a jolly good thing to be part of the ECHR and all the various United Nations things we're signed up to because it shows what wonderful, lovely, civilised people we are. Oh, absolutely. Let's put everybody in the world ahead of our own interests and our own people, which is pretty much what it boils down to.